undetected footprints where you're talking about five young men who have disappeared from San Francisco, California. That is Cameron Reamer, Jackson Miller, Christian Hughes, Sean Dickerson, Sean Seedy. First of the California five to go missing was Jackson Miller. He went missing on May 15th of 2010, San Francisco, California. He had severe anxiety and depression at the time of his disappearance. He was taking antidepressant medications as well as medical marijuana. He didn't have either the pills or the marijuana when he disappeared and may experience withdrawal symptoms without them. He was last seen at the bus stop near the Golden Gate Bridge. He parked his silver 2004 Honda Pilot in the bridge parking lot at 4.10 p.m. and left it there with his wallet, iPad, and cell phone. He was never heard from again. The surveillance cameras on the bridge didn't record anyone jumping from it that day, and no bodies were found in the bay. Circumstances of Miller's disappearance are unclear. He wasn't carrying any money, no credit cards, or an ID on him. There were possible sightings of him in the Fisherman's Wharf area in the days after he went missing. And his family believes he may be staying at a youth shelter or a homeless shelter in the area. Miller was a student at De Anza College in 2010, Santa Clara County, California. The police are actively investigating his case. The next one to go missing was Cameron Reamer. He suffers from bipolar disorder and has been hospitalized for his condition in the past. He requires medical he requires medication, which he doesn't have with him. He also suffers from celiac disease, which is where the lining of your intestines prevents a person from absorbing nutrients from food and gaining weight. He also sustained several head injuries in the past. He went missing on October 6, 2011 from the Fairmont Hotel on Mason Street in San Francisco, California. He told his father he was going to start a medical marijuana business and went to San Francisco with $30,000 in cash to buy marijuana. He'd flown there on September 29th and checked into the hotel with 60 to 70 packages of the drug. He was supposed to return home on October 30th at 11 p.m. On October 6th, he called a friend who was in Arizona and asked his friend to pay for him to get a room that night. His friend agreed to pay. But then Reamer told him to forget about it because of he had found a place to stay. No other calls were registered to his cell phone. He had left all his luggage and personal belongings, including the cash and the marijuana, with the bellman on that day of his disappearance. And never picked them up. He hasn't used his debit cards, his credit cards, or his email or Facebook accounts since October 6th. And his car was left behind at his father's house in Fallbrook, California. There were several reporting sightings of Reamer in the San Francisco area in the months after his disappearance, but none of them were confirmed. He may appear unkept and have long hair. He was unmarried and childless at the time of his disappearance. He is the youngest of four siblings. He has previously lived in California, cities of Santa Barbara, Ventura, Lucadia, and Carlsbad. In spite of his mental illness, it's uncharacteristic of him to be out of touch with friends and family for more than a few days at a time. His case remains unsolved. Sean Dickerson. He went missing on December 2nd of 2011. He was last seen in San Francisco, California. He had stayed up talking until 4 a.m. He woke up at 11 a.m. and left the house in a hurry about a half an hour later, says, saying he was late for work. He worked at Rolio's, a men's clothing store on Market Street. He never arrived at work, however, and has never been heard from again. Sean did not go to work. The day before, he had taken an early lunch and not gone back to finish his shift, only contacting his boss by text at 11.30 a.m. His boss told him he didn't, want to, he didn't want to work with him if he could not be relied upon. Dickerson didn't mention this to any of his roommates, but told a neighbor. Instead of going back to Rolio's on the day of his disappearance, Sean went for a walk, taking various photos with his smartphone as he went. At 4.02 p.m., he posted 16 pictures on his Facebook account, something he'd never done before. This was the last sign of him. He has never been heard from again. Dickerson had moved to San Francisco from his hometown of Cary's, California six months prior 
to him missing. He was sharing an apartment with five other people and saving money so he could move to New York with one of them. A close friend whom he had been dated in high school. His ex-girlfriend stated he left all belongings behind in his room, including the heavy jacket he would have normally taken if he planned to go far. Sean loved ones do not believe him losing his job would have upset him. But his ex-girlfriend thinks suicide may have been the cause of his disappearance. His case remains unsolved. Christian Hughes is the fourth one that went missing. Hughes suffers from unspecified medical problems and had several surgeries in the months prior to his disappearance. He's been missing since February 7th of 2013. Christian was last seen in San Francisco, California. Three days earlier, he had taken a flight from the San Diego International Airport to San Francisco so he could stay the night with a friend. He was supposed to be back home by 2.30 p.m. on February 7th, but he never made his flight. His friends stated he packed his things and left at approximately 1 a.m. He didn't have much money or access to a car, and his phone had been turned off since his disappearance. He has never been heard from again on High Street in San Francisco in the spring of 2014. The man witnesses saw had long hair and was accompanied by a blonde woman. He had long tattoos on his arm like Hughes does. The sightings have not been confirmed to be of Hughes. Hughes' mother said he'd had health problems before his disappearance and his father had recently passed away and she's concerned for his mental health. The police don't believe foul play was involved in his case, but the circumstances of this disappearance are unclear. San Francisco and San Diego police are investigating it. The fifth man to go, the fifth young guy to go missing was Sean Seedy, May 21st of 2013. Several months before his disappearance, Sean suffered from a severe traumatic brain injury. In an accidental fall, he can cons- he's considered medically fragile. As a result, and is in need of medication. A light blow to the head, or a minor fall, could cause severe brain damage or death. And without concern, medical attention, he may die. C. D. was last seen in San Francisco. He went to visit a former high school teacher in the 100 block of Oak Street at 11:40 a.m. He spoke to his father on his cell phone at 1.30 p.m. He was taking the bus to the park. His phone went dead at 2 p.m. and CD has never been heard from again. He rarely left his home for extended periods and usually kept his family informed as to his whereabouts. An extensive search of the area turned up no sign of CD and he is considered to be in, in danger because of his state of health. His case remains unsolved. Let's hope and pray that these five young men, families, can find out what happened to them and where they are at and bring them home so they can have closure. Closure.